Hello everyone, this is Zaid from PA Academy team. Today we will continue exploring AI workflows for architectural design, specifically using in-painting and out-painting workflows inside Comfy UI, and we will be also using Stable Diffusion's in-painting model. Before starting the video, don't forget to subscribe to PA Academy and hit the bell notification to receive future updates. So let's get started. So we are now inside Comfy UI. The first thing is to decide the image that we want to input. Uh, we have already an existing image that we want to uh, proceed with in the in painting and out painting workflows. You know, just a front view of an organic massing. And uh, let's go inside Comfy UI again. Go to the workflow, browse templates, and then select the in painting workflow template set within the Comfy UI's uh, example page. Select it. Then we are now inside the workflow. What is unique in this workflow is that we have the load image node. Uh, we need to insert the image. And then we have the VAE encode that is specifically functioning for in-painting workflows. Additionally, we have our uh, checkpoint node, which has the 512 in-painting uh, model. So downloading this model is essential to f uh, operate the workflow like instantly after you select the workflow. If you don't have it, an alert would come up uh, telling you that you should download it. You can just select it and download the model. And uh, let's proceed now with the clip text encode, uh, the positive prompt. I have already an existing prompt. We can just paste it in here. It's like autorealistic front view of a modern architecture. Um, we are now like trying to explore with this input image, different kind of uh, architectural configurations, uh, simply like just uh, describing what we want to see within the output. Uh, for the negative prompts, we can just like add uh, bad quality, for example. And uh, after that, let's right click on the load image node and then go to the open in mask editor and then uh, we can just lower the thickness and highlight the boundaries of our uh, massing so that it can uh, apply the output to the uh, massing specifically. It's just to highlight uh, what we want specifically to be uh, taken into account. Uh, after that, let's run the workflow together and see the output. So this is the output image we can see in here, you know, ap applying different kind of uh, materials and so on to the input. Just like keep exploring, running the workflow more, keep exploring with the outputs and um, uh, maybe uh, adjusting the description as well uh, to let it like go with your intention as well. For example, the description here specifically like mentions modern architecture. So maybe you want to add contemporary fluid architecture, for example. Um, every parameter would affect the output image in that sense. Let's uh, change the prompt and uh, mention contemporary organic. It's like iteration with different kind of visuals. So this is also a third output. It is nice. You can also like uh, iterate with the parameters in here and see uh, what would change with the output as well. But let's develop uh, this output image um, further. So we will go to the uh, Comfy UI folder, to the output folder, and then uh, select the output we have just generated, drag and drop to the load image node. And now what we will do is to overlap another process, which will be specifically like to add, uh, for example, sky to the image. So what we are doing now is just similar to the post-production kind of workflow. So we will right click, select the open in mask editor again, highlight the area that we want uh, the sky to be in, and uh, save. Let's run it again. Don't forget to change the prompt to write uh, sky sunlight, for instance. That would be enough. So let's run it again and see. So this is the output we have. It's nice like to see this ability that uh, we can add different types of visual elements to the output uh, that we want. 
let's develop this also a bit further open in mask editor and then writing in the description again trees greenery and pathways and uh, let's see the output and of course there might be some outputs that have like errors in them but keep generating until you find uh, a suitable output this is the output now it's like exploring you know different kind of spatial elements in that sense this is not an, a finished output you can just generate more uh, iterations and then maybe like develop them in your design concepts further and so on so that will be it regarding the in painting workflow let's move on to the out painting workflow by just going again to the workflow tab in here browse templates and then out paint workflow the key difference in here is the pad image for out painting node what this node does is it allows us to control the dimensions of the image we are generating so how much we want to expand in the left side top uh, right and bottom side but it would be a best to not exceed uh, high numbers in the parameters in here just keeping them moderate numbers so that it won't have errors in the outputs and uh, we will drag and drop our generated image actually and then just copy paste our uh, initial prompt that we had and regarding the checkpoint node we have uh, the same AI model of the aim painting one it doesn't change actually let's run the workflow again so as we can see this is the out painting version it is working well in general terms just keep uh, iterating with the parameters as you wish that's generally the approach of uh, out painting uh, workflows in here again like uh, expanding with the parameters in here or changing the descriptions and so on it's all like open to customization of the user so that's it for today if you want to learn more about ai in architecture computational design or about topics related to the design field feel free to check out a academy don't forget to like and subscribe to PA Academy. Thank you for watching.